Hi, I, I'm Jim from the Saskatoon Public Library. Uh, here speaking to you from Treaty 6 territory and uh, the traditional homeland of the, the Métis. I'm here to introduce uh, the Toy Theatre uh, Workshop. And uh, so over the next six days or so, uh, me and a bunch of my colleagues, Nika, uh, Laura, and uh, Nancy, are going to show you all aspects of toy theater. But first of all, what's a toy theater, you're asking? Uh, well, toy theater, think small, right? Like a toy, like the name suggests. Uh, you can see some pictures of toy theaters behind me. Toy theater's been with us for a long time, a couple hundred years, I think, uh, maybe even longer. And so basically, it's a very small puppet theater. Uh, traditionally, uh, the theaters are made out of paper, uh, sometimes wood and uh, the characters and props and such are usually uh, two-dimensional, flat, basically. And uh, that's how they go. Now we're gonna introduce some other ideas in that regard. Uh, but we're gonna show you how to make uh, a toy theater out of a cardboard box. Well, particularly a cereal box. Um, we chose a cereal box, well, because the cardboard's kind of thinner and it's a little easier to work with. And, uh, well, just suits our purposes. Uh, but you can make it out of anything you want with some of the ideas that we give you or maybe you can come up with your own. So that's how it's going to go. So the first day we're going to build one and uh, show you how uh, we built ours because each one of us built one separately and uh, maybe thoughts on decorating it and so on. And then we're going to talk about making uh, backdrops um, and sets and things like that, props and so on. And uh, also we're gonna talk about, of course, uh, how to make a puppet. Um, also character development, you know, how to make your, uh, give your puppet a backstory. And we'll explain all those words later. Um, what else do we do? Oh, we talk about writing a story for it, uh, writing a story for your uh, very own puppet play. Yeah. Um, oh, and there'll be manipulation. Uh, a whole, a whole uh, uh, thing on, on how to make your puppets move so they, so they look good or bad, whatever the case may be. And uh, finally, we're going to put on a few puppet shows for you. That will be the final day. So these six uh, pup, uh, videos on, on, on Toy Theater Workshop um, are about 10 minutes long. And they'll, uh, well, the first one will be today on Monday, and then they'll go all during the week until Saturday. Uh, and don't worry if you missed one or you want to look at one again uh, to get a better idea of what's going on. Um, you can because they'll be up for quite a while. All right, so without, without much further ado, let's get started with building your own toy theater. So here's my cereal box and uh, I've uh, used a template, it's just a piece of paper. So something I'll use over and over again. A template is just a thing to help me draw the places where I'm going to cut. And uh, so I'm lining it all up, just using a marker, use a pencil, doesn't matter what it is, and I'm just making some rough lines. And now I'm poking a hole in it with my scissors. Uh, you can use whatever you want to cut with. Even if you don't have anything to cut with, you probably have a pen. You can, uh, you know, poke holes into it, like perforate it and so on. Well, I'm putting some tape on it just to reinforce it a little bit. You don't have to do this. You can if you want. And uh, I'm just that way. And later on, I'm going to add like more cardboard because, well, I like things that, uh, that do, uh, uh, that make it tougher, last longer. Anyway, so I'm taping it all up, the sides and so on. And now I'm going to make the slot in the top. Now I'm using my template, but I'm actually going to make it bigger than the opening in the front so I can put my scenes in the back. That's how this box works. The scenes go in the back and that little front piece that flaps down is my stage. Scenes are what goes in the back of a puppet thing. You know, So if you're outdoors, you might have trees and stuff back there or maybe you're inside of a living room so you'd have couches and stuff like that and you can swap them out and so on. So you could stop right here or you could... Uh, do some decoration, and we'll talk about that. So if you want to continue on, 
Um, I'm going to make it a little bit stronger. I'm going to add some more cardboard, a little slightly thicker cardboard. And I'm using the box to, to as a template to draw out the shape I need. And I'm going to cut it. Uh, I don't usually cut this fast. I've, of course, speeded the video up because, well, it would take forever if I didn't. Um, so there I'm using the box itself. Oh, and then I'm using my, my paper template again. Um, which is how I cut out that flap in the front. And I'm using that to uh, cut up this piece of cardboard. And now I'm gonna uh, glue it on. You could use tape too, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm showing you how to roll a tape in half so you make it double-sided, so you could just use that. I'm gonna use some glue, so I have to let it dry. La-ti-da, da-da-da, and I'm back now, it's dry. Oh, and I like tape. Obviously, I'm taping it all up again. Not really necessary. Um, all the way around and all the openings and everything else. You can do that. It just makes it stronger. Because I think I'll use this box a lot. And I'm going to put, make that flap on the bottom even stronger. I'm going to put glue on that piece. And again, some glue all the way around. And I'm going to put some weights on it and let that dry for a while. And now I'm back, everything's dried and stuck in there. And I said I'd just put paint on it. You can use poster paints or whatever, or you can use marker, doesn't matter. And I'm rubbing it out. Hmm, I really like that color. So I'm gonna put another color in there. Rub that out, see what I think. Hmm, put a color on the bottom of that thing, cause you know, you can close up your box. And I'm not gonna put anything on the inside. Well, except for the top there and uh, a little bit on the sides and so on. Oh, then I added a whole bunch of dots and stuff on it. Now this one, which you're looking at now, is actually uh, the, the toy theater that was made by uh, Nancy. And as you can see, she decorated hers beautifully, way better than mine. Oh, you can see some props there. A lot of her decorations are of uh, uh, origami. Or folded up paper and uh, with the props too. There's a close up, beautiful, gorgeous. Yeah, there's all kinds of different papers in there. There's some straight papers and, and so on. And she also decorated the inside of hers and also the front side of hers, unlike me. I guess I'm a bit lazy that way. Oh, and here's Laura's. She's also got a Cheerios box, it turns out. And uh, Oh, she put, uh, they both, the, the last one and this one, put a marquee on the top. That's a place where you could put theater or toy theater or the announcement or whatever. I didn't do that either. Um, she decorated her box with just a simple piece of red paper on the front and some decorations on the inside. Oh, this is Danica's. And she also has a marquee on the top. Got the slot on the top for, for, uh, 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 putting in uh, backdrops, you know, scenes, like I was telling you before, you know, outdoors, indoors, maybe. I think hers, she has a kind of a, a beach scene in hers. And she decorated everything else nicely. There you go, a piece of paper in the front, some edges, and so on. Hi. That's all for today. Um, so get busy finding a cereal box, maybe, or a box or whatever, and, and making your own. So you'll be ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to talk about backdrops and uh, props and things like that. And um, yeah, that's what's going to happen tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.